Hi everybody, I wanted to show you how to make the kind of graph for the jobs plot using Excel. Once you've got your data into Excel, make sure that you arrange it small to large by theta. So if it's not already sorted, you would sort that smallest to largest. I think that everybody's pretty accustomed to making a scatter plot. Highlight the data you want, go to insert, and then I'm just going to use a scatter plot here with no lines. There's the chart you get. Look at the chart for a minute and decide which points, which thetas, that you're actually going to use. I'm going to exclude this one because I'm not sure which data set it belongs in. So I'm just going to take it down there. It's out of the picture. When you click on the data set, and then you have to go into the guts of Excel here, go to Chart Design, and click Select Data. This shows the actual data set that is being graphed. It's on the sheet, obviously. The X values are A2 through 12. The Y values are B2 through 12. That shows you what Series 1 is. I'll show a shortcut for getting a whole other series on here. If they're not already clicked, click your data set, hit copy, and then paste. I did that with keystrokes. Now go back to select data, and you see something new. There are two series of data. Series 1, the old series, and Series 2, the new series. Well, they're identical series, so nothing's real exciting about that. All the points in the new graph are just plopped on top of one another. What I'm going to do is highlight the series, and you can see the data over here is highlighted. Change the size of those boxes, and now I've got a series that's different from the other. Then I'm going to do the same with the other data. There we go. We've got a blue set and an orange set of data. I'm going to go now into Format. No, I'm not. Chart Design. Click on this series. Add a chart element. Add a trend line. Linear. Now over here in the Formatting palette, I'm going to go to the Data section. That did nothing. I want to select my trend line, go to the data section, and tell it that I would first like to display the equation on the chart, but I want it to forecast forward about 0.2 units. And I just did backwards, didn't I? Make that zero. And like I said, forward 0.2 units. All right, that looks better. Do the same thing over here. Select the data set. Add a trend line. Linear. Select the trend line. And say I would like the equation. And I want to forecast backwards this time. About 0.2. Now you can see where these two things intersect. Also, if you'll notice, you've got an equation for each line. So by solving the simultaneous linear equations, set this y equal to that y. You can solve for x and get an exact theta value. This is still not a great graph. It needs labels on the axes. As a matter of fact, this axis doesn't need 1.2 on it at all. That looks better. But then using algebra, you can find where these two lines intersect and know what that theta value is with a lot more precision and maybe a lot more ease than doing it by hand. The last thing I want to mention is that I've got a bit of data here that I didn't use. But I think it's pretty obvious that the data point actually belongs to both sets. But suppose it was a data set you wanted to discard. Here's how you could still put it on your graph. Go to Select Data. and you're going to add a series. You could call it discarded data. 
the x value is there, the y value is here, and there is your discarded data. Like I said, I think it belongs with both data sets, but I'm not sure, so I'm not going to include it in the graphs.